Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Leave all that in there. My name is Vada Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Follow me on the gram, Vada underscore Fly on IG. I do be answering questions. People do hit me up. We do talk about battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Just follow your guy on the gram and let's get to Danny, Danny. I like this one. I'm not going to hold you. Danny Myers. Salute to Danny Myers and everything that he's been doing. He just comes off a battle with uh, J400 Block. He battled him in Newark, New Jersey. From what I'm hearing, great battle. Then he turned around and battled Ike P off of Restore Order. And, uh, you know, that was, you know, it, was, it wasn't friend. It, Ike was going in. I ain't going to hold you. I seen some of the clips. Ike was definitely doing his thing. I'm sure Danny has some bars too. But, uh, you know, Danny Myers has had a pretty, pretty good year. He's been having a good year so far. Uh, he had the Nun Nun battle, he beat him. Uh, he had an Av battle. And now he's making his rounds to battle against Fonz. You know what I'm saying? And Fonz, salute to Fonz and everything that he does. You know, he won a tournament. I never really felt like Fonz has been getting his just due. You know, I know he's battling Cal in like a one-rounder. Um, I know he, bat yeah, he battled Cal in a one-rounder. He battled Ill Will in a, like, these one-rounders is taken away from the potential of the things that he could be doing. Now, I respect the home league for, for getting him these one-rounders, getting him these looks and battles, but it's got to be the ultimate rap league that's pushing and getting him in these bigger looks, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're only as good as the looks that you're getting. You know what I mean? You could be battling the biggest names on, you know, Taco Bell Battle League, but then when you get to URL, they're like, yo, take Danger Zone. Or, yo, take... No disrespect danger zone for danger zone, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, I know what y'all niggas do. Y'all clip that little clip out and be like, oh, dude, nigga, about this and take danger. It's not like that. Y'all niggas know what it is. Bang, bang, original rights gang. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Let's get back to it. So, um, Fonz, I feel like, you know, he got bars. He got punches. You know, he, he gets busy. And he can, he can really turn up on you really fast. You niggas see Fonz versus motherfucking Luke Cash, though? Golly! Fonz was the one that actually broke the axle on Luke Cash. Luke Cash, I think Luke Cash will go bounce back, but when he battled him at Chris Brown's house, he humiliated him, and Luke Cash has been like on a downslide ever since. That's another story for another day. I'll do a blog about that shit too. But um, Fonz is nice. Danny Myers is the bar guy. I've seen Danny Myers literally put together some of the sickest shit that I've heard with these with the freestyles and what he said versus uh. I'll let the Desi spray. Do you think it's gonna be panic in this room when I back out with the 40 like yesterday? Like this nigga, he freestyle rebuttal about anything on the spot, shit like that. Um, I'm glad, I don't think this is a big stage, you know what I'm saying? It's a, probably gonna be a good, like a volume or like a, not a volume, volume super small, but maybe like a Civil War type crowd. And Danny Myers should really try to take advantage of the fact that he's, you know, lyrically, like pen-wise. Danny Myers' pen is better than most, so to say it's better than Fonz is, is not saying something bad. Fonz is a better puncher. Danny's a better writer. Fonz, uh, he can really drop bombs, but Danny has so many layers in the writing, and he's very consistent with it. Now, if Danny don't battle eight times before he battled Fonz, this could be a very great battle, but Danny's already battled six times in the last week. So if he battles two more times, Fonz might be able to get a sneaky one off. Um, for Fonz, I think this is a very important battle because Danny Myers has already battled people that, people that, punchers, that they compare. Compare. I'm not saying they sound like no shit like that. They compare Fonz to Av. They compare Fonz to Nitty. Danny has battled Nitty twice and battled Av. He's had debatables or he's won in those battles. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get bodied by any of those. And Danny does extremely well versus punches, but this is a battle that Danny should not take a game off or should not play because Fonz wants to prove a point, and you are a very good person to prove a point across. You got a Danny Myers who beat a Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock is my fucking man. Like, that's my dog. But y'all niggas ain't gonna catch me saying a nigga won a battle that like they didn't want. I tell niggas all the time. Don't be my friend if I can't tell you you didn't win. Because if we cool and you lost, I'm going to tell you you lost. And we might not be cool after that. A nigga might not want to invite me to the cookout because I said he lost the fucking battle. That shit be happening. Yo, it's Vada. Like, nigga, that name is that name is synonymous with whoever. Like, in blogging, whoever. 
Mm, don't matter. A to Z. I'm going to be in there somewhere. You know? But, uh, yeah, I, I really like this one. You know what I'm saying? I really, really, really like this battle because it's going to be a lyrical war. Danny's going to be ready. I spoke to him. Um, I don't got Fon's number. I will speak to you too, my nigga. I ain't got your number. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all niggas watch the blogs and shit. Shoot me and shit. I shoot. I talk shit, but you a battle rap. You know what I mean? But uh, I like what Fonz does. I'm a fan of, of, of the punches. I like what he does for Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? I like when he puts the city on. He's got a lot of cards coming up. The niggas from Cleveland. Uh, a nigga from Cleveland just sent me another card that they got coming up. Hold on. Let me look at some of these motherfuckers, man. Y'all niggas in Cleveland. Y'all niggas out there working. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. The niggas in Cleveland is definitely working. Uh, the Fonz. Fonz got Cal coming up. It's in a one-rounder, though. Use even though I'm not a huge fan of one rounders, I don't even really be recapping a lot of one rounders no more. Like it, like it's cool, but the one round shit, like I need three rounds. You know what I mean? But you know, it's a name like Cal. Y'all could kind of go crazy. You and Ill Will went crazy. So you know, we'll see where that goes. But uh, who do you got winning? I got Danny two one, and I'm gonna tell you why I got Danny two one. I don't just put it out there and say why. Um, like I said, at this stage in Danny's career, Danny knows how to get around the stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows how to perform. He knows how to rebuttal. He And the thing about the punches, the punches can always be rebuttaled. It could, Dan Fonz could have a crazy punch. Danny can rebuttal it. This nigga, I don't know what the fuck this nigga doing. Like, when the battles be going on, this nigga just leaves his body there, travels outside the venue, and sits down while you rapping to him. And he's just rapping, writing the rebuttal down. Like, the rebuttal is, like, it's coming. Like, the rebuttal is automatically coming. This nigga got auto rebuttal. This shit is, like, he's, like, a total package rapper. Um, But I do have Danny winning because I just feel like, at this point in his career, Danny Myers is, uh, it, 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 you can't battle disaster, battle hollow, battle uh, Tay Rock and battle all these names and then you, when you get names that are subsidiary to you and I'm not saying that Fonz is a bad talent but when you look at the names Fonz is a subsidiary to Danny Meyer he's been doing it for a long time when I say subsidiary that means lesser than uh, not you know what I'm saying uh, below but um, Fonz is an extremely good puncher and Fonz hasn't got the looks that I don't feel like he's got the looks that's the thing you know, I don't feel like he got the looks that he should have at this point because there have been people who came after him. But some of the people that came after him really put in some crazy, like Easy to Block Cap. And I can't compare none of the niggas in like the last two years to Easy because of what he's been able to do. The niggas 11 and the nigga ain't fucking lost on the app. I'm going to have to battle that nigga sooner or later. What's up, Easy? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's done that. So I have to look at the next and the next. But Fonz won a whole tournament before. And Fonz beat Easy in the tournament. Now, on that, they do not easy winning. But Fonz beat him. But, you know, uh, I've seen Easy complain, you know what I'm saying, about the judges and shit, judge, 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 judge. But, you know, I sneak that here all day. Let's get that off the rug. So, um, I do like Fonz. I love what he does. I love the punches. I love his ability to get into different pockets of material. And I love that he uses, you know, not the same old like, 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 click, clicking on the pump like I'm trying to get extra gas. <laughs> Fuck the gas prices, though. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good battle. It's good for battle rap. Uh, we'll see where it goes. And uh, I, I, I do like the card. And like I said, the battles that I love the most will definitely get individual blogs. I definitely will do one on Jack versus Take the Demon because I love that fucking battle. Um, and there's some order that will do individual battles on. But uh, the, 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 I like the Shunor versus uh, Bart Ashton too. I was going to say Jazz is official. Official the star of this show. Nick. Who would volunteer to stand in front of an official in New Orleans? What? Nigga. She go, what? I'm going to talk about that in another one. I don't want to do that here. We're not going to do that one. And then Jazz is coming with it. And Jazz got another battle too. Bro, Jazz got like two battles. And like she's doing a two-on-two -two with Lou Castro. And then she's doing a two. My nigga Jazz house. I don't want to do it. Y'all get y'all on. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Fonz, yeah, yeah, I, I would like to see you up to the challenge. If you beat Danny, trust and believe, I got no problem jumping right back in front of this camera and letting you know you beat him. I hope you do, you know what I mean? But going into it just from the outside looking in, I definitely do have Danny from just what Danny's been able to do over all of these years. And the fact that he just uh, had a battle versus none, none, I had him winning that. 
and he's been winning like all year. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Gang gang, salute to both MCs though. I definitely want to see what you niggas is able to do. Danny, don't you fucking play. Go out here and get your ass smoked and think I ain't gonna jump in front of your motherfucking camera and talk about it. Cause you know, y'all wanna know what happened. I'll tell you happened nigga got smoked. That shit came from Danny. That nigga had battled a bunch of niggas in one weekend. He was getting his ass kicked from here to across the street. Let me move out the way. Y'all niggas take it easy. One.